video is going to help you learn how to make your own removable labels. These are made out of static cling vinyl. I use them here on mason jars to make up a hot chocolate bar. And I also like to use them for my seasonal decor. I use them on picture frames, on the glass, and you just put a different background in. And the cool thing is it's easy to remove, it's easy to move around. So if you don't get it right the first time, you can keep moving it till it looks good. And then when you're done, you can remove them, reuse the jars for something else, and reuse the labels again in the future. To get started, go ahead and use a glass jar, your Cricut weeding tool, and your static cling vinyl in the color that you would like to use. I'm going to be using Cricut Design Space and my Cricut Maker today to make my labels. Before you start designing, go ahead and measure the space on your jar where you would like your label to sit. And then for the first part of the lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take cursive letters and join them together to make the kind of label you see here so it's easier for placement. With your design space open, go ahead and click on your text. To open a text box, click in there what you would like it to say. I'm just going to write Coco, and I already have it in a font that is a cursive font, but you are free to obviously go up to your font selections and choose any that work for you. I'm using a simple one that I found, which is the Friday font, and it's just easy to use and demonstrate. So first of all, what we're gonna do is ungroup these letters. So you click the ungroup button, like I just did, and then you just can go ahead and you can either use your arrow keys, you can use your mouse, and you just kind of slide the letters over. You can move them up, down, however you like them to look, and as long as they're all joining and touching so they're all connected basically into one line and once you have them where you like them go ahead and you can shift click shift click and select all of them like I'm doing over here on the right you just go ahead and select all the different letters and then once they're selected you're going to head down to your weld button go ahead and click weld what this is going to do is join them into one solid word now instead of individual letters. And next I'm going to show you how to do this if you want the letters to be cut out into a shape like the cocoa we have in the oval. So to make this kind of label here, I'm going to show you how to do it with our joined cursive lettering over on the right. So first you're going to select a circle for this one because we want to make an oval. So go ahead and unlock it so you can shape it. Kind of drag it over till you get an oval that you like and then you're going to go ahead and place your lettering first of all i'm going to change the color so it's easier to see when you place the lettering on the circle when you first do this it's going to be behind the circle so go ahead and go up to arrange and go ahead and send it to front now that it's pink it's easier to see so at this point it's just up to you you can make this larger smaller i'm going to go just a little bit larger and then once you get it to a size you like and also place it exactly where you'd like it, you're going to go ahead and shift and shift click both of these together. As you can see here, they're both selected. Go ahead and go down to your slice tool, click that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on your oval, drag it down, and it's easy as that. Now you have separate letters if you'd like your word up above, you'd like to use those, or you have the oval with the letters cut out. Now you're gonna be ready to make your labels. So you can either choose to make just one or two at a time or make everything you see on the screen. If you make everything on the screen, it's gonna look just like this. We do not have to mirror this because we are cutting out of static clean vinyl. So you do not have to click the mirror. So go ahead and just move everything into a place where you like it. And then when you're ready, you'll go ahead and hit continue and cut out your labels. Once your letters are cut, go ahead and use your Cricut weeding tool to remove the letters and any other details. And be sure to keep the insides of the letters because you will still be using those. And then go ahead and peel off your label, place it on your jar, and then kind of smooth it out and grab those extra little pieces. And as you can see, it's real easy to put them on, kind of move them around till you're happy with them, and then you're done. 
What I really like about these is how easy they are to make, how easy they are to use, and that you can reuse them. You can reuse them on different jars. You can reuse the jars again, and you don't have the mess of removing a sticker or having permanent vinyl. So you can go ahead and organize jars in your pantry. You can make seasonal decor, or you can make items like I did, like a hot chocolate bar. Whatever you use them for, I hope you guys have a good time and hope you find them simple and fun to make.